Welcome back everybody. My name is Dustin. If you don't know me, I'm the owner of Bigfoot Designs and today we're actually going to be talking about the future of Bigfoot Designs and where we will be at come September. So in September, we're actually moving out of this shop. So there's been a few different things that led me to this point to why we are moving. The first thing is because we don't really need this much space. I kind of did an experiment since 2021 when I hired employees, I decided to get a storefront again. If you don't know, back before 2021, I actually was working out of our garage at the house and we had a storefront before that, but I lost a contract on a bigger screen printing company and kind of had to step back on that. This time I'm not stepping back because I lost a contract. This time I'm stepping back because I'm tired of paying for something that I'll never own. And, you know, I have leases on on both of my automatics. I have a lease on my, my CNC machine. I'll own it one day. I don't have a problem paying them payments because I know I'll own it one day. But on my rent, over the last two years, I have paid over $26,000 worth of rent. You know, to some people that might not be enough, a lot, but right now I am actually getting a building built on our property for right around, with concrete and everything, about twenty six, twenty seven thousand. I'd never have gotten the opportunity to build my own shop like I do now. So that's why I'm doing it now, is because I would rather have a smaller shop and own it one day and be able to build onto it than keep giving someone money for this. Everybody does. It. Every business has a place to where they have to rent out to do what they do. But if I have the opportunity to squeeze this in, have enough for him to still do wraps, have enough for him to still do screen printing and embroidery, Enough room to do your CNC machine shit. I want to do that. And I've also came to the point to where I kind of want to go back to doing everything myself. I feel like I keep track of stuff better. I feel like that the quality control is much better as well. Because I think the biggest thing is I'm not a very good leader. I'll come out and straight say it. I'm not a very good leader. I, at our peak, we had five employees. Right now, we have three. But I'm not a very good leader to the point to where, you know, I'm very lenient when it comes to a lot of things, but I'm, sh I'm sh not as lenient on certain things that I probably should be. But maybe I'm more lenient on things that I shouldn't be as well. So a lot of it is I, I just feel like that – I don't have control and you know I don't like to be the micromanager I don't like being the one that like don't trust anybody because like, don't get me wrong like I said I have a great crew and even last year I had a great crew but there's just certain things that just bugs me and like I said I'll straight out and say it I'm not a very good leader I could show you a hundred times how to do a job the way I do it but if you can't grasp that, then I don't, I don't know what the next step is. And, you know, I've ran into issues where people, you know, when it comes to pay, you know, I try to pay everybody a decent wage while also trying to run a business and do all that. And in that experiment, I've actually cut my wages down to where it's less than pretty much my current employees. So I did that and the fact of trying to test this out to see, you know, is that going to help the bottom line to bring more business in by adding employees, which it did. But I don't think it's to the point to where it's that big of a deal to keep doing it, if that makes sense. Like, it's not that big of a drastic change that it was whenever I was just doing everything myself managing what I could, and the quality control was locked down because I was the only one doing everything. And, you know, 
Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. I think God actually, in my opinion, I think whenever 2022 came around, I got leukemia. I was in the hospital for almost a month, and I was in the hospital getting um, treatment for a month on and a month off at a time for eight months. So, you know, for a whole year there, I wasn't even here half the time, and it kills me that I wasn't. But whenever I was in the hospital, though, my crew stepped up. And, you know, maybe it was me. Maybe maybe it was something else. I don't know. But, like I said, I am going back to kind of doing everything myself. I might get, you know, maybe a part-time helper here and there. But we'll see. But the next video we're actually going to be talking about... Um, the building, I'm gonna show you around the new shop. Um, obviously when I show you, it's not gonna have concrete done because that's the next step is get concrete done, the electrical done. Then I'm hoping by September, I will be out of here and I'll be back to paying myself for my building. So be on the lookout for that. I just wanted to give you guys an update. You guys have been amazing. Our customers have been awesome. Very patient during the last few years with my treatments and you know issues we've had. We are definitely not perfect, but we strive to make sure that your order is done correctly. So you guys stay tuned. Next video, you'll be seeing the shop build, and I'll see you guys on the next one.